Hello and welcome to another review by Robin the Reviewer. Today we are looking at the Majority Quadriga. Uh, this is a 2.1 120 watt music system. Uh, it supports Spotify, DAB, DAB Plus. Uh, it's also got a smart internet radio. It's got uh, a CD player. It's got a slot on the front. Uh, it supports Bluetooth. Uh, we can listen to podcasts and it comes with a remote control. So, uh, as you can see, this is quite a monster box. And from the weight, uh, I can tell it's going to be quite a monster device. Now, that's good because that means that we've got a solid speaker cabinet for the two forward facing and uh, downward facing sub speakers inside this unit which hopefully means we'll get good sound. Now uh, as always with majority products uh, read the box uh, they are a digital only company and therefore they're trying to save on cutting down trees and producing manuals in paper form that people don't generally read anyway, uh, get lost, get discarded. Uh, I always revert to internet for manuals these days anyway. And so there is a nice QR code here so that we can scan and get hold of the manual. So without further ado, let's get into the box and see what we've got. Careful to as we at the top. So, another good sign. This is well packaged. We've got nice thick foam on top. We do actually have a paper based instruction guide. Uh, contrary to the details on the top, but always handy. Uh, we've got, again, nice packaging either side to keep this nice and protected in transit. So, lift this out. You can already see that in the bottom of the box we've got the aerial. So I'll just carefully move that on top. In the end, we've got the remote control. So let's get this box out of the way. Take the end off. Now, there's more things in the end. So Probably going to have a power supply, batteries for the remote. So one thing that I would point out now is important when unboxing this. I know people rather have a review about all the features than about unboxing. But as we know, this unit has a downwards facing speaker so when you're lifting it out of the box just be careful uh, this fortunately has a nice grill over it to protect it but just be careful so quick review of the items that we've got we do in the box have the UK power adapter so standard UK three pin decent length of cable RF choke and round connector as we saw before 
We've got the remote control. Get that out of the bag. Decent remote control. Most features accessible from the remote, as we shall find out. We do also have an additional cable. Let's get into this and find out what this is. Right, so this is an AUGS cable. Uh, we do have an AUGS socket on the front, so that could go into your headphones on a MP3 player or some other device that's got a uh, an output on the standard mini headphone jack. As we said before, we've got the aerial. So this is a standard uh, BNC type connector to go onto the back and an adjustable extendable aerial and our batteries for the remote control. So if we now have a look at what connections we've got on the back and what uh, features we've got on the front. So on the back of the unit, we have audio in. So if we've got a separate uh, media player uh, or we want to feed this from uh, a DVD player or something that's got standard left right RCA outputs we can connect that in here and use the audio on here uh, equally we've got optical in so an SP diff optical socket here we've got a USB socket this is for uh, USB mass storage so if we've got a USB stick or a USB hard drive, uh, we can have quite a lot of files. Uh, the details are in the manual as to how many files and how many levels of folder you can uh, browse through. So just worth checking the details before you plug in a USB drive that's got uh, far too many levels of folder or number of files. We've got our DC in and we've got a main power rocker. We've got the port for the uh, subwoofer and we've also got that connector for the aerial. So if we turn it around and have a look on the front, we've got our two speakers. We've got this lovely uh, piano black front which has nicely got a protective film over it to keep it uh, scratch free. We've got our eject button for the CD, We've got a nice display in the middle. We've got a, a multi-purpose knob here so you can see it's volume uh, but it's also got navigate so in certain menus we're going to be able to navigate through and got an okay uh, press as well down here we've got the orgs in got a headphone socket if we just want to listen uh, using any of the inputs we've got but we just want to listen uh, on our own we've got a power and a mode button here so step around the modes we've got some usual navigation here so previous next play pause stop a menu and info button, favourite button and an alarm back button. So let's uh, get this hooked up and have a look at the features. Right, so now I've uh, got it plugged in. Uh, I've attached the aerial at the back as you would see at the top and we're going to now turn it on via the rocker switch at the back. So it can see, it says, welcome to internet radio. And because this has not been turned on already, 
it's asking for our language selection. So we go to English. Let's have a look at the page on a PC. Right, so it's giving us a web page that we need to visit in order to get this set up. Uh, we're only visiting the page in order to read the full privacy policy. And at the bottom it says, press OK to continue. And it's been slowly scrolling up, which is nice. So we'll press OK. Set up wizard, start now, yes. Uh, 12 or 24 hour, like 24 hour. And presumably this is how we want the clock to update. So whether we want to update from DAB, from FM using RDS, or from the network. So I shall choose from the network. And I am in plus zero. And you can see it gives the time zone Dublin. I can scroll up and down to different time zones depending on where I am. Daylight saving is currently on. Uh, and keep network connected. Now, there is a good reason for keeping the network connected, and I shall cover that a little later on. So, yes. So, now it's scanning for networks. And I can go for push button. Now this is good because this saves me trying to use the remote or the uh, controls on there in order to try and enter the network password. WPS is a lot better. Uh, And that means that if I go to my router with WPS, I can start WPS there. And if everything works well, we should get a connection. And there we go. So it has set up complete. OK to exit. And we're on the main menu. So I've got my choice of all the possible inputs and a few settings. So uh these two you can have a sleep mode so that gives you the ability to select in minutes how long before it automatically turns off so if you're going to bed listening to something or you might be going out you can set the sleep timer and that will automatically turn the unit off after that amount of time equally the alarm got two alarms here uh, so we can set the alarm and then we can set how uh, what is the the action from the alarm so what mode so does it go to a specific radio station so do you want to be woken up to your favorite radio station irrespective of what you left the unit at last and it's good here look, that we've also got the volume so if you were listening to your music really loud uh, the previous day and you were listening to a CD, irrespective of that, if you've set an alarm, it will wake you up at that time with that source at that volume, which is a really nice touch uh, because the volume is obviously not an absolute volume dial. It's it's all held internally. So that is really good feature. Um, so I'm going to go a little old school because there are not that many uh, CDs around these days, uh, but I do still get CDs every now and again. 
and so just a little bit of nostalgia of having that lovely CD uh, action. So put the CD in there. That's nice. So we can already see it's got the right time. It's got the right date. It's picked that up from the network. I didn't have to set that at all. And we're playing the CD. So I can obviously skip tracks, pause, play. That's pause, play. Skip tracks. In fact, I want to go back to that first track. I was a little bit on into that track. There's a lovely bit of bass. And... Wow. Yep. That is where this size cabinet and this solid design really pays dividends. That is a really solid sign and that thump that you can hear. You may not come out properly on your uh, speakers playing it back through, through uh, YouTube, but it definitely gives a proper thump here. And I can eject that. Now, that's ah, a lovely slow eject. So that's a normal audio CD. So now let's try the data CD full of MP3s. Lovely smooth action that. It's loading the disc and hopefully Somewhere out there in the vast so it's folder one, because there's only one folder. Track one, Somewhere time, far away in space and, and time. the track main. So I can use the remote. Skip tracks. Now we've got the volume controls here. thing is we've got an immediate mute button and just mute and unmute we've got graphical equalizers as well so that's a movie mode usually rock beefs then there you go a bit more high a bit more bass boost as well I shall go for normal Right, so that's just a tra treble and bass uh, boost, but as your own profile. We should go back to normal. We've got shuffle play on here as well, if you just want to mix things up. And we can eject it from here. There we go. So, we've definitely got CDs of both uh, normal audio CD, SACD, and uh, we can play data CDs as well. Now, we've also got various radio modes. So, I can go back to the mode, FM radio, DAB. Let's see what it picks up on DAB. I might need the aerial up further, but we're in a reasonably good area, so we'll see what it picks up without. It's already got eight stations. Twenty stations. There we go. So, a bit of radio too. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's Diana Ross, who's upside down. There we go. 
That's the way we are. Come on, all join in and sing along. And all lovers in the air. Tony Blackburn's Golden Hour. Tonight from 7 on Radio 2. Or listen to the info button. BBC Sounds. And step through the various pages associated with that so I can even see what the bit rate is. And back to the date. And if we want to go. some internet radio so now it's using my network we'll go popular and you can see we, we can listen to radio from all around the world uh, this is not using the antenna this is using its wireless connection to the network so not only can I listen to the live uh, Radio 2. Uh, there are also podcasts. So I can listen to previous programs, specials, uh, anything I want really, and I can do that all from the remote. Now, a dance through the decades. There we go. Wow. Yeah. I know there's a lot of functionality, but at the end, the audio is incredibly clear. The I am not a pace is the really good. Hide away. Again, I can mute. In oh, art, yeah. I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away. And when I'm done, power it off, and I get the date and the time on screen. Right, so now I've actually got Spotify running on my phone and I told it to connect to the uh, majority Quadriga, uh, which appeared in the list of my Spotify Connect devices. So if I turn the unit back on again, and now in Spotify it says press play, so if I use right up here, there we go. That's playing from my Spotify playlist, and we get the album artwork, track, name, artist. And if I use the info button, I can step through the different bits. I can even see the playback buffer there, so I can see how much of it it's got buffered if there was any issue in the network. And of course, I can switch tracks and use the same functionality all from the remote, or obviously I can change it from my phone as well. there we go, the Quadriga Majority 2.1.